Welcome to the Atari Punk Console channel again. Tonight we are building the Vibrati Punk Console. That's this PC board right here. The Vibrati Punk Console. Atari Punk Console 2.0. Commented on by Forrest Mims himself. I'll show you the comment that he gave here. Well, it's somewhere around here. It's, it's not on the printout that I got right here. I just made a big mess. Well, yeah, not a big mess. Kind of a small one. There, cleaned it up. Alright, so. That's it. We're going to use these knobs. Drill holes in this box. We got a uh, power adapter. Mono output jack somewhere around here. Cut this PC board in half. Good to go. Alright, so now the case is all done and ready to go. We got space for these to fit in. We'll use these silver knobs. We've already put in the output there and the switch. And we're going to just slide the board right down in one of those slots down in there. And we got all these wires here, which are for the board to this knobs. And we're going to solder those in next. And uh, we're also going to do something like this. We're going to omit the speaker here, and we're going to only do the uh, line out part because uh, we're, we're using the quarter inch output like we do with all of our other Atari punks. So um, that's how far we are so far. And uh, one other thing that wasn't uh, included on the instructions here was uh, the, the uh, power LED. We're doing that too. We're, we're going to put a 470 ohm resistor in between that so that uh, when it powers on, you'll be able to tell that it's on and then that you could switch it off and not waste your battery. Alright, so now we got all the wiring done for the Vibrati Punk console. All the, all the, uh, the knobs are wired in there. And we got the um, quarter inch output wired and we, we did it with the the line out where you put the resistors on it there um, you can see that the LEDs already on there uh, because um, we wired that up with the battery to make sure it was all gonna work and we use this here so that we could um, distribute the power correctly it would um, take the power and light up this LED but not go through the same resistor and it would go right into there so it would get the whole nine volts and start this thing up and hopefully the LED doesn't mess it up we'll find out but if it does we'll just go through and read take it out and stuff there's the switch turn it off alright so we'll see this thing working here in just a second alright so we're complete with the Vibrati Punk console it's in this case now completely done so these two knobs here control the LFO and these two knobs here control the Atari Punk console. And this is going to be the very first test of this Atari Punk console ever. The Vibrati Punk console. Alright, so right now it's making the basic Atari Punk console sounds. Which you normally would hear with an Atari Punk console pretty basic Atari Punk console type sounds. So now let's start messing with the LFO here.